the subject for Kids Zone today is peace uh, or God's peace. And because it's Remembrance Day, we need to think about how, about what Remembrance is about. And it was it started at the end of the First World War, which ended um, after years of conflict and lots of people had died, and they wanted to remember all those people that had died. And it's grown from there because we've had another world war since and lots of other conflicts around the world. So we remember all the soldiers that have died in all the conflicts now. And we call it Remembrance Day, whereas it started off being called Armistice Day because it was Armistice is the word they use for making peace. OK, so we're going to be talking more about peace later, but Today's craft will be linked to the Armistice Day or Remembrance Day and we're going to be making a, a poppy, okay, which is the symbol of Remembrance Day. Now, over to Diana for a bit more. Remembrance Sunday reminds me of a verse that Jesus uh, said something that Jesus said in the what's called the Beatitudes in Matthew chapter 5 uh, this is verse 9 and it says blessed are the peacemakers for they shall be called sons of God well, what does that mean well blessed or blessed means having hope and joy regardless of what is happening to us and to those around us to get that we need to follow God whatever happens. As Jeff was saying, there have been many battles, wars and two world wars. And at this time of year, particularly, we remember those who died to protect our freedoms. Many others were injured, either physically or scarred mentally. Those who work hard to arrange peace do precious work to help all of us. Peacemakers can be effective on a global scale all around the world, like those trying now at COP26 to get countries to lay aside their differences and to come together to make agreements to fight against climate change. Peacemakers can also work within a country, especially where there are differences between those who would govern in different ways. Peacemakers also work with families to try to restore relationships and others do this work in schools to stop bullying and to help children to work together. Does your teacher step in sometimes to help when there are arguments between children or maybe somebody else or perhaps somebody has to go and see the head teacher? Sometimes children themselves can try to ease tension or to report when someone is being bullied. All of these people are being peacemakers and God likes that. He says that those people will be called sons of God, so they will be like God. So let us pray. Thank you God for all those who have gone before us, all those who have fought and lost their lives or put their lives at risk so that we can have the freedoms that we have today. We ask for that you would help all those who would try to bring peace and that you would give them wisdom and that you would bless them and that wherever there's opportunity, Lord, you would help us to be effective as well, Lord, to, to bring peace and your love in Jesus' name. Amen. For today's craft, we're going to be making these poppies. Okay, they're very pretty ones. And to do that, on the website, there is an instruction sheet. It's two pages long. Okay, I've printed that back to back. And also, there are two versions of these sheets. One for you to colour in, if you want to colour it in, and another one that's already coloured in, okay, in case you want to use that, okay. Now, to make 
this little poppy, you first have to cut all of these out, okay, very, very carefully, okay? So once they're cut out, you end up with lots of pieces like I've got here, okay? And the first thing I did, well, the first thing you need to do, actually, is to read the instructions fully, okay? Because I'm going to be doing some bits differently to the order on the sheet. Like first, I stick the two leaves together like that, okay? So it makes 11 o'clock, okay? Because that's very important, the time. I've stuck the yellow one on top of the black one, and but I cut them first. I cut the little cuts into the, all that first, okay? I'll show you more about that in a minute. And I've cut out all of these pieces, okay? Now, first thing we want to do is one of the black circles, okay? We need to colour the back of it so that it's black both sides. So we're going to take one of these petals, okay? Well, actually, we're going to take all three of them. We can cut them all together, okay? So we need to cut along here in the middle, like this. So just, just a little way up, so you've got just about that much, okay? And then on the back, being careful to keep it all together, we just do some little cuts. Be very careful with this, because we don't want to have accidents, okay? Then we, we select one of these, so, so that we get them all the same. I take the bottom when it's leaning like that into my hand. Then I take some glue, some prit, and just put it on that one side, okay? And having done that, we push that side underneath so that it is in line with that corner. There we go, and it just makes it a light, slight cup. And we do the same with the other two. In fact, we do the same with all six petals, actually. So we take our disc, okay, we've got six of these, and then we just put a bit of glue underneath there, like that. And we put that so that it is just like that. That's one. We do that with all six of them, but, but we do three first and then three afterwards. Okay, so so I've got to point out like so they end up looking like Mickey Mouse with a long nose. Okay, I'll show you what I mean in a second there. So that each point, oops. So it basically makes a triangle like that, okay? So they're fairly even. Doesn't matter if they're not quite even, because we then bring the other three and we put them in the gaps. So, once you've done your petals, all that's left to do is put your circles in, put the, pet put the leaves on, Cut and scrunch up your remaining black circle so it looks like that and put it on there and then it's completely finished. Okay? And there you have one poppy.